Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek, and this is Sweet Pea, and we are going to be reviewing the Unimoke from Urban Drive Style. Thanks for watching Electrek. Give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on any videos. Somehow the Unimoke is one of the more hard looking electric bikes that I've tried, and simultaneously the most kid friendly. It's rough, heavy, and it can take a beating. The mean styling, fat tires, a huge headlight, and all black paint and components really go along with the aggressive feel. At the same time, that kid seat up front the foot pegs and the inner grips gives kids a front row seat to the magic of the world all around them. Now, very obviously, the Unimoke is not operating on a typical bike frame. This new category of electric bike with an immovable, elongated seat, open frame, and motorcycle styling is all the rage these days. Now, normally I see these kind of bikes being advertised as a stylish cruiser or extreme machine, and the Unimoke certainly fits there too. The concept harkens back to the post-war era of retail and garage mods. Now, these were called mini bikes. By the way, for $219, the mini bike in this ad would cost about $1,383 for today's inflation. And it was gas. Anyways, the reason I bring this up is because, as far as I can tell, the folks at Urban Drive Style are one of the first to hit the electric mini bike market pretty hard. Now, I'm not going to say they invented it, and for all I know, there's another company that was first, but. What I can say is that it's clear to me that the folks at this company actually use the bikes on the daily and have done so for a long time. Surprisingly, the electric components are really easy to access and maintain. Urban Drive Style doesn't act like you've got to go through them for all your parts and repairs. They clearly state that you can get a replacement controller or throttle from a cheaper place elsewhere. Now, I really appreciate this kind of candor and ease of access, and that went into the actual build of the bike. It's not an accident. Now, in my opinion, the components and overall concept of the bike is made for throttle and light pedaling. The hydraulic disc brakes are great, especially for this monstrously heavy bike that's coming in at 80 pounds with the battery. Now, electrically, we've got a honking headlight, pretty good tail light, and a 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery with a torque based pedal assist that is pretty nice. Here in the US of A, we get a 750 watt rear hub motor and a throttle with a top speed of around 25 miles an hour. On the mechanical drivetrain, that's where they didn't go all out. You're looking at a 14 to 28 tooth cassette and a Shimano Tourney derailleur, which is fairly low on the totem pole. Now, despite the bike being over six feet long, they opted for folding pedals. Saves a little bit of room, I guess. Now, clearly the bike isn't made for the quality pedaling experience of the driver. So who is it made for then? You already know, it's the passengers. This is the only bike that not only puts her up front, but it puts her in the driver's seat, getting her engaged in her surroundings. With a totally open view, she can absorb the world more fully. Now with her right next to me, I can tell her all about the ride, where we're going, what we see, the sun, the road, the cars, the ducks, the stores, everything. All the while pushing our limits and finding our strengths. Now the Unimote Classic has an MSRP of 2,990 bucks. Based on the build, the company, the accessories, and the standout features, I think the Unimote carves out a special place in the electric mini bike market that it helped to usher in. The look is classic and unapologetic, a real head turner on literally every ride. But in my experience, the best thing about it is operating it with kids. I don't want to say haul kids or kid cargo capacity because that's not really accurate. With this bike, your kid isn't cargo and your kid isn't even a passenger. Your kid is the center of the experience. So that's our experience, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Electrek, and I will see you guys on the later. That's what you always say.